Hello and welcome back to Katamari. I'm Chorpsaway. I'm Jordan. Howdy, I'm Jay. No! And I'm Mad Dog Future Friends! <laughs> and today we're gonna be pulling off the, uh, the Johnny Cash look with our guitar. Whoa. A cowboy is never a cowboy without a, a tune to play. <laughs> and we're gonna make Fergo today. Fergo is my favorite Steve Buscemi movie. Oh yeah, you need to stop right now. <laughs> it's my favorite Black Eyed Peas member. <laughs> oh, he actually remembered to make us a present. Sorry. Why? Thank God. I mean, he's gotta make up for last time. I mean, yeah, we had to steal this guitar from someone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, that guy deserved it. He was, like, playing Wonderwall and shit. Wait. Dad, you're in the sky. You're pretty. <laughs> no, he's masculine and sweaty. Oh, I'm sorry. The, the other day, I while I was going into town, there was someone there busking, and they were playing Wonderwall when I went in, and, like, 20 minutes later when I came back out, he was playing A-Team by, uh... <laughs> what's that guy called? I don't know. Some white guy. Uh... It's the... It's the... Shit. Alright, well, here's here's the thing. The the opening to this level, if you're reading all the text, Ed maybe... Oh, Ed Sheeran, okay. Yeah. But the opening to this level may be the best opening to any level, as long as you take the time to read the text. Because... Uh, is she going to... <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, no. no. I didn't even know that could happen. Yeah. Finally, you got the prettiest thing of all gone. Ah, uh, yep. this this Katamari was made in heaven. So we have to pick up ladies in this one. <laughs> Finally, on my years of training. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, coming so to fruition. I can pick up some hot techniques from these videos with four nerds in them. I've been crafting well, my art for years. Well, the first step in the pick up artist handbook is have Katamari. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, uh, yep. So, dolls uh, of ladies also work, but predominantly looking for just girls. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm getting my notebook out here. <laughs> where's, the, where's the fucking pen? <laughs> this oh, level plays a lot like, uh, like when you're with your dad at, like, a family restaurant and he starts hitting on the waitress. Uh-huh. Because the king likes to interject a lot when you pick up a very pretty lady, according to his standards. <laughs> I All just right, kind of wish that this was like the bear level where you had to pick up the biggest lady and then he'd be like, <laughs> Girl! <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool too. Alright, I'm, I'm writing it down. I get a bill I, the once king, in a while. To me, the king seems more like the kind of person who would say female. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's been saying maiden, so. Oh. Well, I, mean, that's just, I mean, that's just old fashioned. Right. He's a king. Yeah. Oh man. He's a king. Of course he. Has a fedora. Oh, that's what I gotta write down. Buy a fedora. <laughs> yep. A zebra oh. print one. <laughs> right. I'm, uh, I think I'm going for, like, a piano, like, oh, fedora, okay. you know? Yeah, I also, get that. Well, if you buy a piano fedora, you also need, like, the keyboard suspenders. And the keyboard, uh, bow tie. And a guitar. Yeah. Yeah. That always picks up ladies. And uh, then you need to play, yeah, like, Scottish pirate metal on it. <laughs> All right, just just to know, the guitar is the instrumental part, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> instrumental, got him! <laughs> got him. There's this class on the sea. Gonna take that. All right. Helping get rid of it. I mean, the all-girls school was getting kind of you know full of students. We're just trying to help out. Just trying to mix things up. Yeah. All right. So what you're saying is dating tip number five: Tinder hurts. Yes. Yeah. Also go to an all-girls school. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it works out in all those uh, visual novels. <laughs> there was <laughs> there was a story uh, I think earlier this year where an all-girls school uh, was gonna open up their doors to male students, mm -hmm. and the first year only one male student got in. So it basically became that someone's life was an anime. Yeah, I was about to say, are you sure that's news and not just an anime you watched? No, that was also real news. I made uh, sure geez. to check. What if, what if that dude's gay? If that dude- Oh, well, that's also a manga, which is like, uh, I'm stuck in a harem anime, but I'm gay. 
Which is a real thing uh, that that's exists. Just, yeah, that's my life, basically. <laughs> that's a pretty good setup. Yeah, so it's like all the standard, like, oh, I tripped and, you know, my pants are showing, he just, like, walks away. <laughs> Does he ever accidentally fall on boobs and then just, like, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, basically. Nice. This is like, oh, I'm sorry, bye. Oh, there's the present! What's uh, he doing up there? Oh, it's like one of those circus ball things where, like, they yeah. balance the ball and the umbrella. Oh, you're right. Oh, look, we're picking up mermaids. All right. Hey, those are a maiden. Yeah. Destroy creatures from the ocean. <laughs> I'm getting really mixed signals, like, from this level in general. Every time you, like, knock ladies over, they're screaming, but then once they get in your Katamari, they're making, like, all these laughing noises. <laughs> well, you know, it's like, well, getting knocked around is not fun, but getting picked up for the Katamari? That could be a good time. Yeah. The prince but, is a handsome man, hey, okay? Remember, when you're getting when you're getting mermaids, there are plenty of other fish in the sea. Yeah. But this is this is a river. This is a lake. I mean we already did the level about fish though. Oh. Well you see what I mean? <laughs> that was a real good joke. <laughs> I don't know, something, something about it feels smells a little fishy. fishy. God damn it. It's Jay jokes! Man, now I'm starting to feel ill. <laughs> that what the fuck does that even mean? What the fuck are you even saying? I was just trying to seize the day, you know, carp a diem. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Oof. Wow. If only I had good jokes about ladies. You'd think, with all the star stuff we've been doing, the police would get the idea that we're trying to help. But no, they keep shooting at us. Well, oh, it's because you know, we have so many stars. What oh, is it? we're kidnapping yeah. women. Or... I'm, gonna, I'm gonna bridge the gap between like these two lines of conversations, because it's when you go on a dating site, and you see like you see a hot lady, and you tell uh -huh. her, hey girl, come by my house, and then she comes by your house, and it turns out it was actually a dude. What's, that's called like cuddle fishing or something, right? No, it's called catfishing. There you go. <laughs> Conversation <laughs> successfully bridged. Boom. Uh, hey, future friend, remember when we watched uh, catfishing, the TV Wait, show? That was fun. Wait, what's that catfishing? That was a dark is that a, in my life. Is that an actual TV show it's just about people who pretend to be other people online? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Like, literally the first episode, like, they called up the person and it's like, Hey, um, are, are you this actually, like, attractive hot model? And you can just, like, tell by the voice. It's like, oh, yeah, I totally am. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I am! Like, I like that you used your shaggy voice for that. Zoink Scoob, I think they're on to us! <laughs> like, Zoink Scoob! I can't believe they caught me on camera for that. <laughs> and then at the end, they pull the mask off the hot lady and it's old man Withers. <laughs> oh no! And I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling millennials. <laughs> <laughs> if it weren't for you meddling internet detectives. Honestly, uh, I, I think that's what Scooby-Doo needs to stay hip and current. Uh, all of the plots are just old people real mad about millennials. <laughs> I mean, that's what the new Seth MacFarlane style show is, right? Oh yeah, there's like a, some weird like Family Guy-esque Scooby-Doo coming out, isn't there? Yeah, it, it looks really <laughs> bad. It's like baffling. And like, apparently the last Scooby-Doo was really good. Like, Mysteries Incorporated was a lot of fun to watch. There's an episode with an evil ska band. That's very well, current. Yes. <laughs> it's really of the time. <laughs> it's current like a fish. Nice, got him back. Yeah. And I mean, they're doing like crossovers with the WWE. They're all like all over all the hottest commodities of the 2010s. Like Flintstones. Yeah. yeah, like, well, no, Flintstones is just the WWE. I don't think there was a Scooby-Doo Flintstones crossover. Oh, right. In, uh, in 20 years, there's gonna be a Flintstones movie about Fred uh, getting into Let's Play. Oh, no. Wait, and it's gonna star <laughs> John Goodman Fred, again. Though? Uh, Fred from the Flintstones or Fred from Scooby-Doo? Um, what? both. They're, uh, uh Fred they're from group. YouTube. They're, they're called, uh, True Fred, True, True Frets. Uh-huh. Uh, 
But actually, it's, uh... Actually, you just say it as true friends? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's called Future it's, Friends. That's right. Future Friends. That's right. Whoa, did you pick up a They're witch? They're both my shitty sons. I picked up a witch there? What's she right, doing here? Good. That counts as a lady. Flying around on a... Yeah, you really cleaned up this town. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad the statues count, too, just in case there was a problem there. Uh-oh, did we pick up a swing set, too? <laughs> I love this wait, cop. wait a minute, what's this cop doing? He's just hanging out from the... the You're a loose cannon, Jim! <laughs> <laughs> now get off the like roof. I feel like he's just shooting wildly and also is going through the sunroof? Yeah. Uh, that's basically every experience with cops I've had. Oh, okay. Is that what happens in Blue Bloods? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tom, most of the episodes is just Tom Selleck standing on top of a car and wildly shooting into a crowd. <laughs> also, Perfect. there's a giant ball filled with women attacking him. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. really weird. There's that girl that kicked us. Got her back. <laughs> Not so tall anymore. Dang. Well, we are Man. like four meters tall, so... Blue Bloods is great, though, because uh, Tom Selleck in the show constantly sounds like he's having to take a hard-ass dump, <laughs> but he has to keep holding it in. <laughs> <laughs> great. Especially in front of all these women in a ball. <laughs> right. Yeah. You can't poop in front of women. No. In a oh, ball. you know what? Uh, speaking of, women fact, women don't poop. Oh, okay. I've got a... Holy... I've got a lady fact, too. <laughs> oh, what? Uh, nice ovaries, asshole. See, Thanks. I combined all the the memes from the the LP. <laughs> Thanks. You're, you're, what? You're supposed to kind of put a pause on that. <laughs> oh, asshole. Oh, dang. <laughs> got him. You got Damn. me. I am the asshole. <laughs> Passive aggressive Max is at it again. But it looks like we've basically cleaned up shop here. I think we picked up a fair number. Wait, of Wait, was that a Mad Max joke? Yeah. What well, you made? Okay. I was just making sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this was a fury roll. Oh, I thought it was a Mighty Max <laughs> joke. That would have been weird. Oh, no. What if the girls get bored on the way to the star? Glad the king's looking out for the ladies. He's a gentleman. So do you think they'd burn to death or they freeze to death in space? Nah, I think they're perfect. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Whoa, King. we got a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, we serenaded her. Yeah, with our sweet guitar. Played Wonderwall. The worst thing was that we played Hurt by Johnny Cash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, one time I was on a college campus and there was a guy, like, a couple floors up sitting in his window. And there was a white guy playing sitting on the dock of the bay and I wanted to throw something at him. It was the worst. <laughs> I'm glad that the king points out, no matter how pretty the star is, he's the prettiest in all the cosmos. CJ, uh, I'm glad you didn't. Uh, I, I did that once, the guy fell, and I was in jail for ten years. <laughs> wow, fucked up. And it turns out in jail... Jail is just only white guys playing guitars. Oh no! Oh, whoa! Th that's Lydia, that's like how they try and get you to re uh, rehabilitate. That doesn't sound good. It's torture. I feel it. I feel the cosmos. Virgo is back, the constellation of love. So pretty. Alright, so last dating tip, feel the cosmos. Alright, I, I think I can pick up a date. Thanks, guys.